Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to ShortSellPowerHour.com. I'm Kevin Kaufman. Uh, my partner, Fred Weaver, is holding the camera right now. He's playing producer. And we are Group 4610, Arizona's premier short sale team. You may recognize the couple to my right, um, to the left of your screen. They made a guest appearance on Short Sale Power Hour Viewers Week a couple weeks ago. Josh P. and Sarah W. <laughs> you can say Palm or Low. Do you want to say you want to teach low. the whole world? <laughs> yeah. Palm or uh, Low. <laughs> is that okay? Does yeah, that that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're in Austin, Texas right now. We just finished up Mastermind with Gary Keller and about 250 of the other top agents in our industry. And we were talking, a hot topic was about short sales. And uh, Josh and Sarah actually specialize in short sales in their market. And so what we wanted to do today is bring them on the show to kind of tell you a little bit more about Josh and Sarah. They've got a video blog, a lot like shorttailpowerhour.com. Um, and then I'll let them give you the web address for that. But more than that, what I want to know, guys, is what does your business look like? What's your business structure? Kind of how did you how did you get started in short sales? Where are you at now and where are you going? <laughs> only you're only gonna ask him four questions at once, Kevin. Is this why I do most of the interviews? Okay. No, I'm no Oprah. I was gonna say I, I was doing a better talk, but um, I'll, I'll just I'll just start it quick. Um, you know, I did my first one and before we were a team. Um, I did my first one four years ago, and I saw that it was coming. It did come. We're in Minnesota. It didn't come like it did in the sand states um, in the southern areas, but it's now it's really starting to show its its, it's head. Um, the last year we're seeing just an influx, just what happened around the country. I think we're basically two years later than the rest of the country. So, so going back, I did my first one four years ago. I said let's do it. I had a couple other agents talk me out of it. Then a year and a half ago, I said we got to get into this. That's when we kind of partnered up, and she's just awesome. So were you thinking the same thing? Where you're like, I don't want to do it. Or Because our REOs were just coming everywhere. No one was helping anyone to stop the REO. No one was in our market. I mean, there's no one. I mean, now they're starting to come up where, you know, people are closing 40, 50 a year. But, I mean, until this year. At first, were, I wasn't sure. But, uh, but as soon as I learned a little bit more about it. Yeah, we did. We started doing We actually kind of teamed up with a, another uh, another person. And we did our first couple. And then we're like, okay, we can take this on. We're going to be. We lost your. Yeah, we talked to Nolly. We took Nolly's training. And then we were watching you. And we're like, we can take this all right now. We know right now we have around 25 to 30 short sales. So this seems right. Yeah, we're not active. Okay. Well, okay, I know I'm behind the camera, but that was a great nugget about the first couple short sales and working with somebody else. Because if you're not sure, that's a great way to get started. If there's anybody out there that's we're wondering, I'm let, afraid. We're not going to let one slip and we weren't going to just test it out on someone. It's so not a joke. It's, it's a not a joke. Five. We weren't going to let them go to foreclosure. We've only had one go into foreclosure of the ones we've done. And that one we had approved twice at the bank. It was just buyer issues that caused us. And we were getting too close. And we, in the state of Minnesota, after you share, after the sheriff's sale, you got six months to redeem, and that's it. And after that, you're done. So um, we, it, that was the only one we lost, but we won't lose. Yeah. Our goal is not to lose any more of those. So. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. you're at 25 or 30 listings right now. Talk to me. Who is it just the two of you on your team, or do you guys have any help? Right now, it's just us. We're just starting to get into where we need. Our systems are fantastic. Things we're, are growing really fast. We're thinking kind of the end of mind. You know, we're, we have high goals. I Our goal next year was to do 100, but I'm like, no, we got to do 100 tomorrow. So basically, we're just, we just got 10 listings in the last 20 days. And um, Yeah, I was going crazy. I'm like, I'm a listing <laughs> expert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, it, once you get the systems on, it, 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 it becomes just a business. You know, we went from... You know, E to P, which in Keller Williams is entrepreneurial, the purposeful, and um, you know we're looking to expand. He said something there, guys. And I hope you caught that with systems. And um, obviously, the, the the key factor or that wild card in short sales is always mindset. But if you're going to do a lot of short sales, and I say a lot, I'll say more than five a month for any period of time. It's you've got to have the systems and processes in place, and you got to follow them to a T. Even though every short sale is a little bit different, and there's all the different challenges that, that are involved in short sales, you've got to be able to follow up the process of the system all the way through it. And then when you need to deviate, use that outback mindset, if you will. Use it when you need to, but for the most part, you're following the system. You simply can't remember to do everything. 
I mean, we run into files that go fantastic. It doesn't even, I mean, almost anyone can do it. I think we, we got it down because it's like, we know what, what's going in the right place. But then there's those ones where it's like, a, you know, there's something that pops up, you can't believe it. You know, we gotta go to what we gotta do. Yeah. And that's what we learned from you guys. And it's just, we're not gonna stop. I mean, if you guys are gonna close every single one, we're gonna close every single one. So, so it's just kind of that mindset. We're not gonna take no for an answer no matter what. So I'm hearing systems, I'm hearing, not taking no for an answer. We've got to do something to help these people because everything was just going into foreclosure in your market. Nobody was nobody was no. doing short sales, which stops foreclosure. Yeah. And you guys sent out on a mission to do that. There's a lot of people out there. There's a, I mean, everyone, and it seems like everyone we've gotten before is try to do the loan mod. You know, try to figure out a way to make it happen. Three or four times. Yeah, or, or sixteen. I don't know. There's sixteen. And it's like, you know what, that just isn't working. So they're looking for the next route and that's the short sale route. They don't, they want to be responsible, not just put their head in the sand and walk away. So that's where we're like, we, we, we're specialized. Yeah. Cool. So um, where do you see your business next year, 2011? We're gonna need a big system for the computer. Right now that, we're yeah. working through Top Producer right now. Okay. And it's going fantastic. So I would, I mean, I would recommend it to anyone who's starting out, but, you know, it's a low cost system. Yeah, um, it's good database management as well. But now we're looking at getting, a system and then basically our goals. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm nervous of putting a number because I, I say I'd say 100. We want to do 100 next year, but there's a, there's 50,000 people that need help, so, so we want to do 300. You know, but we're, we're also we're, we're trying to be realistic. So if we close 100 or so, or and if, if we start ramping up, um, you know, 150 next year. Okay, well, 150 is nothing to like. I mean, that's 100. It's a lot of yeah. deals. Um, uh, there's a lot of agents. But we look at you guys. <laughs> well, and you know what? You, you get there with yep. a few more years of experience. Yep. Like we didn't do 100 our first year That's right. by any means. Right. Um, so as you ramp up to that, uh, I want to give away one more nugget from you guys. What's, that requires a lot of lead generation. Yep. Yep. What's, your, what's your number one key that you want to share with the viewers? Um, our number one, you know, well, I, I want to give a couple away. I mean, I'm just, I love helping people um, to, to find more because there's plenty to go around in any market. So, uh, well, number one, bankruptcy attorneys or attorneys in general. Um, that's our number one right now. I actually, I actually, I don't have anybody. I actually picked that up from Nolly Williams. So um, I, I said, well, that's a no brainer because especially the higher end clients, that's the first place they go because they don't go to any agent. Especially when they read stuff on the internet where they say it's 25% success ratio, whatever it is, 25 to 50 percent, and they're like, I'm not trusting my financial future to you know 25 percent. So they go to a professional. Then second, um, our sphere, I say our sphere is the next thing. It's starting to get where there's not really the experts around. Where it's just if you do a short sale, you're doing it, you're talking to us. You know, okay. so that's where it's starting to come now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that. And other agents, you know, I, like we suggest is if you're going to do the short sale thing, there's enough to go wrong where you should be doing, trying to do 20, 30, 40, 50. You're not, if you're not trying to do that, if you're going to just do five, you're way better yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah j just give it to the, an agent that's going to close it every I'm single just time. Stay on top of all the regulations. And because you can't, you can't be, you can't be running around with. I mean, that's a little bit of a struggle with us now because we're regular real estate agents. First, now we're a short sale agent. Second, now I mean, you know. So we reversed it, and now we can get buyer calls, and we I can't be running around with buyers all the time, you know. Yeah, I'm closing uh, 50, 100 short sales. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're talking to guys that have been through it. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we're gonna wrap it up. But wait, wait, I've got a question. Okay. I'm sorry. I like to be involved, even though I'm behind the camera. So. <laughs> This one's for Sarah, because I think Sarah will give me a straight answer on this. Yeah. I want to know, Sarah, who plays bad cop and who plays good cop when it's necessary? Because i got to imagine with the volume of short sales you're doing, the good cop, bad cop oh, things yeah. had to happen a yeah. few times. Definitely. I'm good cop. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so I will get us through to the very end um, of the transaction, you know, with the negotiators and everything. And when they start giving me a lot of hassle and everything, um, I have Josh <laughs> kind of as the hero. That's a good question. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I love the answer. Here sure. comes big six foot three. Josh, I'm gonna crush you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just uh, what it, it, comes, it comes down where you're even a, a little bit higher up. You start dealing with people that tell you the wrong answers, or you're, they tell you something that's you know in the gray, and you're like, no, that's not. Or they tell you a black and white answer, and then you're like, no, it's really this way. And I just no, I just call them up on it. I go, no, that's not. That. We've done this, you know, three, four, five. Oh, well, not with this pool. Well, it's gonna be the, well, this is gonna be the one of the keys that Fred and I always talk about in our class, and uh, I just want to point this out again to our viewers, is 
there's a team here, guys. Yeah. There, yeah we could not do it. Without we can't do it. I would be doing four short sales a year without a team. I mean, she's. I mean, you I always say she's going to bring us to hundred. I, you know, I get, I get us listed and all that, but she's going to bring us to hundred because I could, I could only do four. I'd be going crazy. I'd be looking at the ceiling. <laughs> you need somebody to keep them on task, right? Yeah. 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 We know. We know. Yeah. That's clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, guys, that's just a huge piece. They gave away a lot of nuggets here. I hope you caught on to them. Whether it's the lead generation thing or, or working with a partner, that's huge. Fred and I are big proponents of that. You know that by now. Um, there's just so many different things out there. Having a system and that mindset of, you know what, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get this job done. I don't care what happens. This one's not going to foreclosure. I'm going to do it. Obviously, 100% success rate is not, it's just not possible in this environment, but as close to it as possible is, is where you need to aim for it. Whether that's 99, 97, 98, whatever, yeah. you've got to aim for that. And that's something that Josh and Sarah are doing, and that's why they're on the show today. And um, really quickly before we wrap up, I know you guys <laughs> said that I was going to say, I got some samples. Uh, yeah. So Sarah got her 46 cent foot flops. And quite honestly, they don't make them big enough for Josh's feet. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> I can give them mine. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can keep those. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, Sarah's like, uh, uh, she just edged closer to Josh. All right. <laughs> keep your shoes on. Uh, so we're going to wrap it up. Like we always do. That's right. I'm in. That's right. All right. Uh, three. One, two, two three. three. Short, Short sale, sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Crush it.